Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to work in Solaris in the LOP context, as well as mixing a Material X and within Karma CPU in Houdini 19.5 specifically. So this is a result on a pig head. So I'm going to jump out of here, start from scratch. And normally you're in the build context when you open Houdini, but I'm going to be in the Solaris context. And in here, I'm going to Throw down a SOP create, enter, and throw down a pig head, and just click that add shader so we don't have that shading by default. You can use any test geometry that you would like. We're going to go into this material library and just do a karma sub network and Throw down a standard surface to replace this surface node, and we can actually just delete that. And let's go out of this context. Sign to geometry, all primitives. Click here, and that's assigned. And for demonstration's sake, I'm just going to also throw down dome light, which I do in most scenes, anyways. And so now let's get into the materials and select mix, plug this into the foreground and hold alt and plug this output into the background. And then we're going to do a fractal. Um, let me just select everything and press L to just organize this. So now I'm going to actually just use this hex code that I selected, which is literally the orange value that is the Houdini orange color. And you can see now I have it mixed, but it does not look anything like the example that I had. So we're going to use a little more to control this mask, basically. So I'm going to throw down a position node. And I also want to control the uh, size with the multiply node, and I'm going to also use an add node to change the offset. So you can see that's demonstrated like such, and I have control by a vector value. And I can do something like that. And now I can also throw down a remap node. So let's say I just want to clamp the values so do this like 0 0.3 0 0.7 and just to make this a little more um interesting looking i simply just made that value metallic and flip it you do like you would just do this inverse but to make this like 1.2 something like that. And I'm also going to do a clamp node. So that's really the basic mixing. Um, I think I definitely tweaked these values a lot more in the previous scene. Let's, yeah. Bring that in. Nope. I think I kept these about that same value. And to adjust this. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So yeah, obviously using the actual fractal noise, which by the way, you can just use really whatever, uh, procedural 3d noise that's within here. So you could use a Worley and I'll get into that a little more. Um, let's kind of do something like that and, you know, see what these values do for you. Uh, you know, you get interesting patterns when you adjust all of these, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and that's really the mixing. So I'm going to go into a little more territories. So if you just wanted to get the mixing part of this out of this, then you can kind of stop the video here, but I'm going to just kind of dive into a little more. So for example, I can uh, throw this placement value. So I'm going to, um, it's going to look pretty crazy when I 
just plug it in. But let's just throw it in here and you can see obviously the scale of my displacement is too crazy. But if I just lower it to something like, let's say, 0.1, that's still too crazy. Um, so I'm going to still do 0.05, let's do 0.01, and you can see now I kind of get a uh, double whammy, you know, I killed two birds with one stone. Uh, I'm just using this fractal value to calculate some interesting displacement as well. Um, you can add different nodes between this and this fractal. Uh, you could also, you know, plug it into the specular roughness of um, our standard surface and maybe do like a remap and kind of adjust these values curvature. Yep. Okay. Like something like that. You can see now sort of like um, we create kind of a fall off with the roughness and you have all that type of manipulation at your hand. Um, and one more thing, I'm just going to actually, you know, cause I just want to focus really on the mixing a little more is, uh, you can add a, so you can see too, like I can distort it by the way, like something like that. Um, but you can add another, um, Thing into the mix, another noise into the mix. So I'm going to, for this example, in the screenshot, by the way, I'll have a gumroad for this project. Um, I used a Voronoi here, but for this demonstration, I think I'm just going to mess with a different noise and maybe do a smaller value in the multiplies and maybe distort one a lot on a certain axis, so it looks like it's maybe the pig head went through some type of wind or you know is getting chipped away uh, maybe it's shooting up so you want to adjust a different value um, something like that but basically I'm just adding distorting this fractal um, shader now I'll leave the video off with just a question for you if you've gotten this far is that I can control the size with this multiply and then I can control the offset with this add but I'd like to control the rotation and I haven't figured that part out I, this affects it but uh, I don't believe it goes you can see it changing but I don't believe it goes in a 360 um, fashion like I want to control it so if you have any input on that uh, that would be great and I would appreciate that in the comments so thank you for watching I hope this taught you something and have an excellent rest of your day